We're going to talk now to Selene Saxby, who is a Conservative MP in North Devon. Her constituency is next to Mr Parish's. Thank you very much for talking to us. I mean, can Good you morning. believe he looked at pornography on his phone in the House of Commons? I am very shocked and saddened at the events of this week. And um, yeah, I know like your previous guest, Neil, would not have been, when this story broke, somebody that I would have thought would be um, the m Member of Parliament that did that. How would you describe his behaviour? Out of character and, as he did himself, a moment of madness. Um, that my experience of working alongside Neil has been that he's always been a very good MP, both at the House and um, back in his constituency. He's been kind and thoughtful and a, a really good ally and somebody to work alongside here in Devon. He says he stumbled across a pornographic website while he was looking for tractors. Is that a credible explanation? For Neil, yes, definitely. Really? I, I think there's a wider conversation to have about how easy it is to fall over some of these websites. But I think, I hope Neil wouldn't mind me saying that he's not somebody who is good on technology, big on technology. It's not how he, you know, as, as Yolaska said, he is a farmer. He's not somebody who's online all day long. So again, for many of my colleagues, I would not have that as a credible excuse. But for Neil, I can see that accident happening. Right. I mean, you said, you, you, you know, out of character, moments of madness, but he, he did do it deliberately the second time. I mean, that is, you know, you have to put in the right words. You have to look up your history to find the same website that you apparently stumbled on previously, don't you? Yes, unless you've left it open on your browser and just reopened your phone. I don't know what went on. Um, only Neil does. And um, as he said himself, he has to live with this for the rest of his life. There is um, a senior, so-called senior Westminster figure who has given an anonymous quote to the Sunday Times today who suggests that some of the, um, some of the behaviour is actually to do with the 2019 intake of MPs, people like yourself. And this is the quote. Some of the 2019 intake are barely out of university. It seems they rather have adopted a freshers week mentality to socialising. And it's talking a lot about the drinking culture. Do you think that's fair? I think for us as new MPs from 2019, we haven't actually been at Westminster that long. Um, so we are still quite new to the entire environment. And for most of our time as MPs, we have actually been working from home. Um, and I think this sort of disruption to the whole parliamentary process and now getting back to Westminster and, and sort of for many of us learning the ropes for the first time we were only there for a few weeks before we were shut down and went into the pandemic and so i don't you know i do go into the bars at westminster and sometimes there are people from 2019 intake but there are a lot of us um and there are also we, we mix and socialize with those from all other intakes i think my but do you see are, drinking like, as, a, as a, a quite a big part of it do you see others drinking a lot I certainly think there is um, a blurring between what is our work life and what is our social life. And, you know, this last week at Westminster, we were voting at midnight and many of us have been there. There was a gap in the day um, and many of us had been to events which had had alcohol at and the bars are obviously open. But we are social creatures and we do a lot of work whilst we're in those bars as well. I know that's not how it is going to be portrayed, but we do often sit down. We, we are talking about work and the work day. But yes, there is a lot of alcohol at Westminster. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you, Selene Saxby, who is a Conservative MP in the neighbouring constituency of Mr Parish.